all right guys so we have a 2003 bmw 330i it's actually the chp it's a friend of mine uh, so what i'll be doing is doing removal and i'll show you guys a, a couple tricks i got the steamer warming up now it'll be a good video for you guys to so some of you guys that uh had questions or have questions I'm gonna turn this off okay okay so Okay, so with the steamer, this is all you're doing is just heating up the window, just like I showed you guys on my last video. So we gotta do is, uh, it is an 03, um, so I'm not sure the tint does look okay it doesn't look too old but one way to find out it's once you start removing a piece of tint if it comes out right away then you're good but if it takes a while or it starts falling apart then it's old tint so just heat up the tint looks like they uh try to fix the window And this is pretty much all you're doing. Once we get a, a little edge, I'm trying to take it out with my nail. Okay, here it comes. Okay, here we go. So once you peel one corner from the window, all you gotta do is just put your heat gun, I'm sorry, your steamer close to the window. And uh, also be careful because it is pretty hot. So you work yourself from top to bottom. The tin does feel somewhat. Uh, it feels. It feels good. It looks like uh, it hasn't been here. It hasn't been here for a while, so that's good. That's uh, less of a hustle for the back window. But that's the back window. Usually, if tin comes out, <clears throat> it comes out pretty easy on some windows on the side. But the back one, you could be hoping there won't be no struggles, but at the end of the day, those are the worst where everything's going good and you start having problems with the tent where it doesn't want to come off. So this is all we're doing, just heating it up slowly. The best part is that we won't we won't be leaving any adhesive. Maybe like a 90% and 10% will be little spots here and there, but that's That's way better than uh, Removing the tin and leaving adhesive behind There is a chemical to remove uh, The adhesive I'll try it on next time. I just gotta buy it. I believe it's called ART Adhesive remover Beautiful, beautiful, came out nice. 
Looks like there's no heat safe. All right, let's get to the little one. So here we got the smaller one. Now for the smaller ones, uh, you could try to pick the film on top, but this is what I like doing, is just getting my razor blade and, and uh, pretty much doing a cut here. So that I'm able to peel it up and work myself down. So I'll show you guys right now. Just... So be like this. And you're not scratching the window because we're going this way, not like this. Like this, you scratch it, but if you go sideways, you should be good. I'll put this to. I'll put that on the side for now. You bring, you bring back your uh, your steamer, and then just heat it up for a bit. Nice, nice. It's coming out good. All right, put this to the side. Nice and slow. All right, that should be good. And the best part is that you can't burn anything. Uh, say if you had a heat gun, you know, that's plastic and leather. So just nice and slow. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I know I keep making that mistake. And the reason we stop, you start from top to bottom is because as we go, pretty much this kind of works as a little canopy and it keeps the most of the heat concentrated as you go down. And it looks like I have a little bit of adhesive there, but there you guys go. That's how, and that was, I want to say within three minutes or so, we removed this windows. Now what I'll do, I'll jump on that side, but that'll be a different video. Uh, you know what, let's, let's try to do the, the back one. Alright guys, so once again, like I mentioned, I don't know how good you guys can see that, but same thing, just get your heat, uh, your steamer and start from top to bottom, okay, from top to bottom. Now the, only, the other way that you guys are going to find out I'm just trying to get the edge Alright, there we go, got a little spot Alright, the other way you guys are going to find out Is that if this tint's old There's times that when you start peeling it off It comes out 
like this like fast but maybe halfway it just starts uh, uh, falling apart because it starts coming out in small pieces so here we go fingers crossed I'm trying to save the defrosters nice nice it's it's going it's going for sure there's gonna be an easy removal I'll let you guys know right now so we're doing good we're doing good so far it's getting a little hot inside here now Ooh, it's hot. And you guys can see the steamer hasn't uh, taken a break. Usually some steamers do it for three minutes and then they take a break. But so far, this one hasn't, uh, hasn't taken a break. So if you guys are interested on in this one, I have the link down in the bio. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I got it from Amazon. Like I mentioned, it hasn't give out. So now that we got this much done, we're gonna work ourselves down slowly because the last part is that if you leave adhesive on the bottom then it's gonna be a pain in the ass I'll let you guys know right now so take your time when you're doing removals And also, always let your customer know that if there's no um, if there's no chance of uh, the film coming out nice and easily, you guys gotta let them know that you're gonna have to scrape. Also, I'm not sure how much you guys are charging, but I charge 180 to do removal. So. Uh, usually uh, for back windows you always gotta um, you always gotta have that mentality is that all right it could go nice and smooth or it could go horrible and next thing you know you're gonna be scraping for hours and if you're just by yourself then uh, you guys know how that goes and so always charge a good amount so if you know things don't go as planned at the end of the day you did a good job doing removal installing new film and the best part is that the customer is going to be happy you know going from old purple faded tint to new tint and there will be those customers that will say, oh, that's too expensive for removal. That's fine. They could go look somewhere else. 
but never ever give a discount on doing removals because the customer doesn't know how hard it is to remove tint but when it comes out this easy then it's worth what you're charging you know it's you know 180 for doing all of this it's not bad you're taking your time uh, roughly I'll probably say it's gonna take me no more than an hour that will be removing and cleaning making sure that there's no adhesive because when you do the, the, the new tint and there's adhesive then you're the one that's gonna be losing time and, and film because you will have to remove it back again so as, you, so as you guys can see, I got the film cover. So right now I got steam going all around in the bottom. So just keep that in mind. The hard part will be at the bottom, guys. All right. I'm trying to... So just keep that in mind guys. So if you guys charge a hundred bucks to removal any car, I hope you guys got you guys got more than uh I hope you guys are more than one person, you know. Two people or three people charging a hundred bucks for removal sure that should be okay but that is still pretty cheap you could probably have a guy here another guy there scraping um, all right so once you get one corner out try to get the steam as close as you can and then just start peeling away And here we have it guys, it was that easy. Now that we're at it, let's jump to this one. And that's why I love my steamer. So let's get this one done. That way it's out of the way. And we can start doing ins installation. Uh, we are going with, he actually got lucky. I ran out of carbon, 5%. And uh, I'll be uh, hooking him up and I'll be doing 5% all ceramic. He's a good friend of mine. So that's what's uh, happening today. But yeah, guys, so that's uh, that's what's going right now. And if you guys got any questions, feel free to uh, comment down below. You guys already know I try to answer uh, everyone's question. I try to uh, inform you of some of the films I use. Which one's the... Uh, See, I think I ran out of water. Yep. All right. That's another thing. It stops. Uh, the steamer stops itself because it runs out of water. So let me fill that up real quick. All right, guys, we're back. Filled it back up. And as you guys can see, I got more steam. So it needs that pressure of the water to keep going. 
also now when you guys do removal and it's an older car I got this car uh, I have a uh, what is that called I have a charger connected to the battery um, so keep that in mind you don't want the battery to die and it's an 03 most of the cars that I do uh, here and there I try to um, make sure that the battery doesn't die or just make sure I also have a uh, uh, a jump starter a portable jump starter so don't forget keep that in mind because removal does take a while installing windows does take a while as well and when it's an older car if it's not a brand new battery or even if it's a brand new battery even brand new cars you have them running for a uh, for an hour or so battery will die faster just keep that in mind guys right here it comes come on little guy So that one came apart, but so if it does come apart, just work yourself the opposite way. That way. All right, let's get to it. Now, it looks like they had a 35% all around on the back. It's pretty light. It's coming out good. But you guys can charge what you guys think it's right for your business. Just want to throw that out there. I believe um, I posted a, a comment on uh, Patrick's um, YouTube channel. He was doing a removal and he started struggling, which it happens. That was me back then. Believe it or not, guys, I used to charge 80 bucks to remove the whole car. And here we have it. It's nice and clean. But don't forget, you still gotta try your best to clean it. Um, got my razor blade here. So I used to charge 80 bucks. Oh, I had to go pro. I used to charge 80 bucks to do removals. That, that's the back window and the side windows. At first, I was getting car after car after car for removal but i messed up by not checking the shops around me see how much they were charging for removals until this uh lady uh they came to get their uh back back window removed and installed a new one uh she messed up by telling me she messed up by telling me uh that there were it was uh, an overprice at another shop she was getting a i, I believe it was like a 200 plus feed for remove all the purple tent and um i got lucky enough because that tent was faded it was faded faded and um, I want to say it was probably done within two years because I was able to remove that whole piece 
together and all i did is charge her 80 bucks which i said i was kind of happy with it um there was a little bit of uh, adhesive uh stain behind but once she picked up the car she was happy she's like wow can't believe the back looks uh way uh nicer than the other sides and mind me don't forget i was charging 80 bucks to do removal i charged her 80 bucks for the back window pretty much if she would have been a little smart about it i would have removed all the windows that were all these windows were purple the back ones were the only one the worst one that was like super super purple and i was kind of happy that it came out and a perfect well it came out perfect like the whole piece came out perfect but once she found out and uh she heard of me she reached me out i quote her 80 bucks she was happy with it she's like let's do it and uh once she picked up the car she did that little small conversation that she was happy and uh can't believe that other shops were charging her um three uh two two hundred plus once she said it, i was like what i'm like damn that's crazy so i went ahead and start uh looking around uh my neighborhood start pricing most shops around here in my area were charging 180 and up the probably the 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 cheapest one was like 120 by the hour not just 120 in general 120 within how many hours they they remove the the tent so it could be two guys and they could do it in an hour so there's you know 120 or guess what it may take two hours so you're already losing 240 there i was i was shocked i'm like what that's how much you guys are charging check every shop it was between 150 to 250 for removals in my area so keep that in mind if you guys are doing removal make sure you guys don't underprice yourself and there we go now we just gotta jump to the front but the guy wasn't sure if, th if there's any tin on it yeah there is so it's just super light so keep that in mind guys whatever you guys go make sure you guys are quoting the right price and um, like I said if you guys are happy with the prices you guys are giving out you know go for it keep doing that you know keep doing the same price if you guys are happy with that but no so this is the one that doesn't have it okay save myself a window Let's jump to the passenger side. Here, I gotta turn it on. Oh, man, I moved the GoPro. There we go. So once you turn it off, it still runs for a little bit. Cause it's cooling itself down but i gotta fire back up because i got one more window and for pricing on your tent it always goes back of how much your films costing you how much time you guys take when you guys are doing a uh, installation uh, for me there's different prices i run um color stable by solar effects carbon by uh, solar effects uh, ceramic by geo shield and um, carbon by Lexan and uh, I'll make a video talking about Lexan some of you guys hate Lexan for some reason but I'll tell you guys what it's not a bad film it's actually a good film it's just a rebox from a from another company that i won't mention the name oh 
will see what I meant. Everything was going good. But it looks like this one. It's shooting. I doubt this film is the same one as the back one. So that's why you gotta charge what you gotta charge, guys. Oh man, the whole adhesive stain behind. So this is super old film. Now think about it this way. Now imagine this one was the back. Worst scenario. That's the worst part, look at that. And it's not the, the steamer that's making this. It's just that the, the glue's already stuck to the window. I'm gonna give you guys a good example, watch. Let me do a cut here. See that adhesive? Oh well. It is what it is. Definitely not the same film as the one in the back. But a little scrubbing doesn't hurt. Never mind. It looks like we're we're on the we're on the right path now, guys. But still, this film is pretty old. Looks like I'm bringing back the adhesive as well with this uh, scratch coat. So we're good. It looks like we're good. Now we just gotta take it nice and slow. Definitely. Oh, there's a small piece right there. Stay behind. Yeah, so just make sure when, we're, when you guys are doing this, make sure you take your time. Don't forget that time is key removing and installing. I forgot about the story. So, once I learned that, that I was charging cheap, like dirt cheap guys, 80 bucks. Once I started giving the actual price, guess what? No more work. I wonder why, huh? I went from charging 80 bucks to 180 for removal. Which it made sense, you know. You're struggling, you're... You're not gonna take an hour to do removal and then to do a, a whole car. You probably take, for me, I usually quote them five hours. That's in a in a bad scenario, but usually it'll take me between three hours to four hours. That's if the tin comes out in a perfect condition. But all right, guys, I got uh, all the tin off from the back, the front ones. So I'll go ahead and start doing the new installation on it. Um, like I mentioned, so just make sure you double check your work. That's uh, removing, cleaning, and installing your, your new film. So I'll go ahead and uh, this would be on how I remove film using the steamer. And then the video for installation on this car will be different. But all right guys, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram at solar window tuning or here in the comments on YouTube. Um, like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in that steamer, I'll put the link down on the bio. You guys could check it out, it's from Amazon. You guys will get it within three days and you guys know that if you guys don't like it, you guys can return it and get your money back. But I highly recommend it when it comes for uh, any removals that's even with um uh doing uh removals for any commercial retail that's a good he uh 
steamer so make sure you guys check it out but thanks for sticking around guys and see you guys on the next video of me installing the film so later guys